Howdy, Pirates. Ruger Ranger here, back with a new gun from Ruger. They just keep bringing them out. This one I find really interesting. It's the Ruger Security 9. I find it interesting because of the name. Yeah, the first gun I was issued was a Police Service 6, and the Security 6, Police Service 6, and the Speed 6 are just three fantastic guns that just don't don't quit. They keep working. And I still have my original Police Service 6, and it still shoots point to aim, and what a fantastic firearm. I'm sure it'll be still shooting that way long after I'm dead, so I'm hoping this Ruger Security 9 lives up to the name. But it looks like a really well-thought-out firearm. It does. It's the same size as the Glock 19, which is a fantastic size firearm. And, by the way, is the best-selling 9mm handgun in the world. This has a 15-round magazine, just like that, and a 4-inch barrel, same size. One of the things that I find very interesting in this firearm is the, the rail system on the front end is not a real jagged, pointy, extended Picatinny rail. It's basically a Picatinny rail that is subdued and conforms and is softened on the edges so it won't rip up a holster. Yeah. It looks like Ruger actually stops and thinks about things before they make them right now because this is, looks like a well-thought-out gun. The slide has forward and rearward serrations on it. It also has floatable sights, fixed sights that are floatable, driftable from side to side, that are also replaceable, and they have other sights available. It has a magazine release that's a one-sided affair, not ambidextrous, and ambidextrous magazine releases bother me if you're concealed carrying that gun and you bump up against something on the outside, it'll pop your magazine. That's why I'm not a real fan of full-time ambidextrous magazine releases and it also has a slide stop that's mounted just on one side not an ambidextrous one which is my big downfall with the Ruger American is that am full-time ambidextrous slide stop because I had problems with mine yeah so there you go this looks like a well thought out nicely made firearm and to top it off the manufactured suggested retail price is 379. Yeah, I'm going to check this out and as soon as I can get my hands on one, I'm going to run through its bases. This looks like a fantastic firearm to me. But I haven't got my hands on one yet. I will tell you that, but it does look very interesting to me. It is based on the LCP2 firearm, so it's a hammer-driven firearm. And of course, the LCP2 is not like the LCP it partially cocks that hammer when the slide comes back, which is what this does also, and gives you a light, clean, crisp trigger pull like a striker-fired firearm. So this can compete with those striker-fired firearms. One thing I do like about this is it has a safety on the firearm because when you get a, a hammer partially cocked, yeah, I just soon have a safety I can put on on that firearm. And this has it. A well-thought-out, good-looking firearm I can't wait to get my hands on. Thought I'd bring it to you today. Thanks for tuning in, guys. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Till next time, may your boots never get dusty, may your guns never get rusty, and may you only have happy trails.